Nebraska's producers will be able to recycle their pesticide containers for free at 24 sites this season in the 25th year of the state's recycling program. UNL says applicators have accumulated more than 2 million pounds of containers since 1991. To learn more about the program and how you can participate, we talked with Nebraska Extension's Ben Beckman earlier this week. The Pesticide Container Recycling Program is a program that we've actually been doing for about 25 years here in Nebraska. Uh, it's a program that we use to gather and use uh, pesticide containers and dispose of those in a way that's a little bit more environmentally friendly than getting rid of those at a landfill or burning them. Tell me about the process. Sure, so uh, any sort of pesticide applicator can go into one of our sites. Uh, we've got multiple sites around the state. Uh, the best way to kind of figure out where some of those sites are is to go onto our website, pested.unl.edu slash recycling, and that's going to give you a list of the multiple sites around the state. Uh, some of those sites are going to be open uh, year-round, some of them are open seasonally, uh, some of those have a, you know, a single day, and some of them you have to actually go into and make some sort of arrangement with the site in order for them to collect your pesticide container. But you can bring all of your used pesticide containers into that site, um, and they'll collect those for you, and they actually use those uh, in a recycling process. They'll chip those up, and actually most of them get used for corrugated pipe for drainage tile later on. What does the producer or the applicator need to do with the containers before they take them in? The applicator uh, needs to make sure that those containers are triple rinsed or pressure rinsed before they come in. Uh, make sure that any of the caps are removed. The caps are actually a different type of plastic so they can't be recycled along with the container and any sort of loose label, uh, plastic label that can slip off, um, the booklets that come with that or anything like that also need to be taken off of the container. Um, and those containers need to be, uh, like I said, either uh, triple rinsed or pressure rinsed and then uh, allowed to dry a little bit so that there's not extra liquid sloshing around inside those. That wash water, what is that used for? Uh, that rinse aid then needs to be disposed of properly. Uh, usually the label is going to give you any sort of um, recommendations for how to dispose of that, that rinse aid. Uh, usually it needs to be applied on site. Um, you can throw it in. Maybe you're cleaning out your spray tank or something like that. You can throw it in with the water that you're using for that and get rid of it on site. Is UNL's Pest Ed the sponsor of this program then? Uh, actually, the sponsor of the program is the Ag Pesticide Container uh, Recycling Council, and the UNL uh, Pesticide Safety Education Office is just the coordinator, and we work in cooperation with the different uh, co-ops and different sites that uh, sponsor the sites. So we're just kind of the coordinator that lines up the people and lines up the sites. Reinforce me the importance of recycling rather than just tossing it out. Sure, so I mean it's a really great thing for our environment, uh, those pesticide containers. We go through a lot of them throughout the year. Uh, the sites are going to uh, take any sort of pesticide container um, anywhere from you know a one gallon uh, jug to a 55 gallon drum. So even if you're using large commercial application size uh, pesticide containers, we're able to take those and dispose of those properly um, in a way that's going to be a lot more environmentally friendly and put them into a good use as opposed to just throwing them in a landfill somewhere. You can find more information about the Pesticide Container Recycling Program on the Market Journal website. 